How's it going everyone? And welcome to my base spot guide for Ark Survival Ascended. The island's getting completely reworked and the new meta is changing. So today I'm bringing you over 10 spots that I think will be pretty dominant in the meta. If you're excited boys, please feel free to leave a like on the video, comment down below where you'll be building off ASA launch. And with all that said, let's jump right in. Right, so starting out we have Island Ice Cave, probably the most notorious cave on the island for its crouch entrance. Uh, as you can see, it is going to not be the same this time round. The actual starting part seems fairly similar. Let's put Gamma up. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's much more open. I think a Stego can probably get through this, but it is quite open here and you can have a decent wall, but this is obviously probably going to be more of a late game spot because of the, all the PvE that you're going to have to get through, all the Yetis, the Diabears, and these are really high levels as well. But there's loads of space in here and Island Dice. Although the Crouch, we all, we all knew the Crouch wasn't going to stay, but Island Dice is looking fairly decent. Okay, so C4 has been heavily nerfed and this is without cave damage and so all around out here behind by the ice cave seems to have cave damage so yeah even as far as down here if you guys don't know where ice cave is it's here on the map uh right by the ice there is blue up up there up next we have Kano cave uh, it's in the very top right of the map as you can see here uh the latitude and longitude are shown there uh, this has incredible room honestly and it's going to be quite difficult to build this without cliff plats but people will definitely find a way especially with the new building systems but as you can see here this is the inside of the cave there's still the water entrance like the classic arc through here you can fit, definitely fit bassies in here and this is going to be a super strong spot at early game but the water entrance like this and then you have the cave entrance i think this has opened up slightly uh, i'm really struggling to see things in here it's been like changed yeah you can see there's a pillar in the middle now i think the best part about the space location is the fact that it's actually on an island and this is going to be insane the one x towers here let's go gamma three the one x towers here are going to be absolutely crazy so let's just see this this whole island is not going to be six x i'm going to assume yeah not six x and then we go when we get to the cave is the six x it's 6x to the entrance. Okay, so you can put uh, 1x towers outside, but you can't really put them too close to the cave. But this island is going to be super broken, and I think this is going to be the top contender for number one base spot. Onto Island Lava Cave. Here it is on the map. I have built in here many times, and it used to be a really bad cave in Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, but if we go here, let's test the 6x. A big problem with this cave used to be that the 6x extended really far out on the beach. So yeah, it doesn't seem to have changed much. Let's test here. Yeah, the 6x still comes out really far, which isn't that great because you can't really have that many outside defenses. But if we come through here, this first part doesn't seem to have changed all too much. Still come down here. This cave is absolutely massive, so you're going to have a load of breeding space. But yeah, this we still got this water lava fall part and this other path down here. This cave honestly is quite big and it will definitely have the space with TPs and stuff, but I don't think this is personally going to be the best spot. This part is going to be the main bit with the drop down here. This is actually quite strong. Uh, but, oh, that's lag, but they, this part down here with this path, these walls are just going to get rocket around super easily. And as you can see, without movement speed leveling, we still are pretty damn fast. Onto Skylord Cave, uh, which is actually a pretty underused cave in Ark Survival Evolve. Here it is on the map, as you can see, uh, Blorb is all the way up there, it's on the coast here by the icebergs. And as you can see, it is actually still a crouch. As, as you can see, I've got a crouch through this to get through, um, so honestly, there's potential here. There's little drop downs through here, and I think this could actually work for a decent little solo spot early doors. And here we are at Hunter Cave. Now this is down south, as you can see on the map, and this cave wasn't actually too good either. Let's test the 6x real quick. Is it 6x right outside? Yes, it is. Uh, so yeah, towers might not be that great. Is it 6x above it? Because you put, could put a nice little tower here as well. Let's have a look real quick. Yep, 6x. Uh, if we go in here, as you can see, this is the entrance. This is actually pretty damn wide. Gra graphics look pretty scuffed. We'll put Gamma 4 on there. You can see a little better. Uh, so yeah, this is actually pretty decent. This is a long tunnel. It's not actually been changed all that much to what I can see. You have the classic split path here, the little path on the right. Long tunnel here. So I think this could actually be pretty viable depending on how rocket runs work and how cave flyers work as well. I don't expect cave flyers to work, especially even with Mammoth buff. But yeah, the split path over here. Uh, honestly, I think this could be fairly viable, definitely more viable than Lava Cave, and a lot less contested than something like Ice Cave as well. Alright, on to Underwater Caves. First of all, we're going to be looking at Hard Underwater, which is here on the map, as you can see by the Eastern Swamp. Go straight down, and you can see it right here. They've actually changed the entrance, and it's massive now, so that's going to be interesting. Go through here, very, very open. I think this is going to be pretty busted, especially with the underwater outside towers that could be put in 1x. Go through here, and also... Uh, 
goes without saying, let's put Gamma 5 on, because this is absolutely mad. The underwater blueprints as well are going to be massive, and if you've only got the underwater blueprints on the island, obviously it goes without saying, but this is going to be a very end game base spot. You're going to have to grind pretty hard to claim this. We've got two sos in here, all kinds of nasties. But if we look here, that King compartments actually work without a tech jenny. So that's going to be pretty damn big. Yeah, as you can see, no tech jenny in sight. I just opened it and was standing in, the, in it before, and there's no tech jenny in sight. So yeah, very interesting. Without cliff plats, this is honestly going to be quite hard to build, but you can just pillar this and snap it that way. So going to be pretty interesting to see how people build and also how long it takes for people to move in here. Haven't seen any drops in here thus far, uh, but if there are drops in here, that'll be a massive selling point of the cave. And now on to easy underwater. As you can see, left side of the map, there's the map cords. And you go down here, just down here, and here it is. Loads and loads of space in here. This has actually been changed a lot to how it was. It's a lot more open now. We have the right turn off the start here as well. And there's two paths, but ultimately you come out to this first choke point here, uh, which you could actually stick a fairly decent sized base in. And here we- Oh, we found the first drop in the cave. All right. I need level 50. Oh god. Time to mass level up my character so I can get this drop. All right, boom. Attack me, boom. Oh! Okay, well, if that if that says anything about my luck in ASA, uh, yeah, 357 Mastercraft Gauntlets in my first ever underwater drop. That's pretty mad. That's pretty mad. Over here, there was... Yeah, here it is. There can be a drop spawn here, but also you could stick a little base here. There's an XP note here as well. If you come through here, this is another main choke. The bit here on the edge, which you could stick a nice little thing on as well. Come through here, though, we get to the final room eventually where the artifact is. That's another thing. Artifacts are going to be insane because with no server transfers, you're going to have to trade for artifacts if someone lives in one of these caves, or you're going to have to wipe them. Oh, that's the effect of coming out of the water. That's pretty mad. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of room here, especially for bases, and you can layer all this off with pillars and uh, foundation it as you want to. So honestly, I think easy underwater, especially with the drops, is going to be pretty strong as well. Here's an example of what Pearl Caves are going to look like. This is the one by Easy Underwater that was just that. Here's on the map, you go from all the way over here, there's the beach for reference. Come down here, and here you go, here's the entrance. This has actually changed a fair amount. Kind of reminds me of Kano Cave, uh, but Pearl Caves look a lot better. Uh, you come over here, I think this is a medium, or was. Actually, no, it's a large Pearl Cave. Yeah, it was a large in Ark Survival Evolved, and they've changed a lot. So 100% going to be interesting here as to how they're going to work. They were renowned to be quite bad base spots in the original Ark. I think they started out fairly decent, but the message just evolved past them. So yeah, definitely going to be interesting for sure. So with all the main caves covered, I'm going to start on land bases now, which is probably going to be where you're going to be starting out. And first off, we have this little cliff right here, which I think is a really solid spot. Uh, it's actually by uh, Easy Underwater, which I was just at. Here it is on the map. And I think the 4x over there is actually quite close as well. So yeah, you're going to have to clear a lot of this out, but by the cliff, uh, you can have Dino Gates down here. Rafts might be a little bit annoying, but I doubt there'll be too much of an issue being up here. Uh, just a very, very decent leveled off spot that you can build in. Heading over here to the icebergs, this is at 1010. Obviously, these are going to be very, very strong. Depending on rafts, they might not be, but we're going to have to see. Either way, this iceberg has actually been changed. There used to be like a thing going through the middle, like a hole, but that's been completely removed. Decent amount of resources, it's going to be poly and oil. And up here, you could build a pretty damn decent little base so yeah rafts might mess this up but i think this could still be a very very strong early game moving over here we have the ice bridge place for water dinos right below it uh, and this is a very flat piece of land against the cliff so i think this could be fairly strong as well coming up here we have blob now this is going to be a really good spot for metal which i'm going to cover in a resource guide uh, but blob has always been a very strong spot to build in early doors on islands there's plenty of places where you could stick a base because even stick one right here and being by the obelisk when transfers open is going to be a really decent advantage so yeah that's blue off in this waterfall could also be pretty nice. Uh, I'll show you where it is on the map. You can stick a nice little hidden base in here. Uh, here it is. There you go. I've built in this spot a fair few amount of times, and I've actually managed to last a fairly decent amount of time as a solo in living in this spot early doors. So yeah, very nice little hidden solo spot. There's even places where you can put your dinos in here as well. Here's another decent spot in the Redwoods. This is a little... Uh, here it is on the map. There's a little decent plateau here which you could build in against the cliffs. I quite look, like the look at the spot. There's another one over here. These mountains are also very, very resource rich. So definitely a good shout for building in off the start. So I just checked this, and this seems to take even more damage than normal cave damage. I'm up on the volcano here, and I thought this could be a decent spot, but then I saw that. Because before, in cave damage, it only took like 3,000 damage. It only got down to like 9,000 health, but this completely annihilates a metal foundation with 1c4 here. So I think this is just increased cave damage by the volcano. I was thinking this plateau could be pretty decent, but apparently not. 
This little mountain over here by Red Ob could also be a fairly decent shout for building in. Nice little elevated area and, and really decent access to all the resources you're going to need early game. So yeah, here's that. I came to look for twin pillars and this seems to be nerfed heavily. There's a decent spot here which is like right by the cliff which could be nice. It's really flat. Here you go in case you want it. But yeah, I couldn't really find twin pillars. Like this was another decent one right here. There you go, map there for you if you want to just pause that. But I couldn't find twin pillars, so maybe I'm just stupid, but yeah. And here we have the massive metal mountain over by North 1. Uh, this is going to be really decent to build up on early game. Crystal, loads of different resources that you'll need. RGs are plentiful, so yeah, I would highly recommend this spot. Here you go. Also a bunch of XP notes by there as well. And here we have the old classic, Herbivore Island. Now, I wouldn't really recommend building here, especially at the start, just because there's going to be a ton of tar raft about. But maybe you'd be able to get a start in, which is decent because there's no, like, kind of to eat you and stuff. There are a fair amount of resources here, I guess, and the herbivores are pretty nice as well as pteranodons, but generally I would avoid this, but hey, that's the cons if you want it. And so yeah, that's all the best base spots I found for now. Obviously this is very early doors, so things are definitely susceptible to change. But yeah, caves, land bases, they're all going to be viable, and I can't wait to fully get into the raiding and PvP meta, and if you guys feel the same way, make sure to drop a like on the video because it would really help me out. With all that said guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take Care.